Hey there, Crystal Thompson here for Unity Stamp Company. Today on Color Compost for Crystal, I have foils and Copics. We are doing some easy DIY Christmas cards with foil, and I figured that this is probably the easiest way to create mass-produced Christmas cards with some Christmas color combos. We're gonna be using a previously released stamp set called Christmas Wishes, designed by Gracie Ellie Designs as she drew it up. And I have this stamped and ready to go with some toner ink onto a piece of craft cardstock. I didn't show you the way to, to um, do the stamping because I know you know how to stamp. I have my mink machine ready to go. I have a piece of red thermo foil ready to go. This is, um, excuse me, thermo web deco foil. And again, this is part of the thermo web release back in October, but I wanted to show you another way to use these Christmas stamps. I really love this, this whole card because again, it is a super easy way. You can mass produce by stamping a ton of them, foil in the mall, and then we're gonna do some Copic coloring. So I'm gonna speed up the process of this, but we're gonna keep it very simple using three colors of green, three colors of red. We're gonna begin with G82, and we're gonna color all the little holly leaves that are ready to go. And I really realized, or finally realized, that coloring with Copics on foil does not um, dual the, the foiling. So you know when you color with Copics on embossed images, you can clean it off, you can't really clean it off. Well, I found that with foil, it makes it super easy to come in and just use a little dry cloth and dry, um, remove the excess of that alcohol ink from the foiling. So it really keeps that super glittery and it just gives it a little different look. It doesn't raise it quite like embossing, but it makes it very, very easy. And I feel like it's even cleaner than doing heat embossing. We're gonna use R14, which is a very light red for the berries of our holly. Then I'm gonna come in with our medium shade of R27. And I'm only gonna do a bit of the shadowing with this red. I'm gonna come back a little bit later with Gannet Red. R, excuse me, just Gannet R39 and add some more of that shadowing. And it really brings the whole thing to life. So I showed you my full coloring. I'm gonna do the rest of the leaves with that. Then I'm gonna embellish with the same colors using G82. I'm gonna do a couple splatters here of the drops and I really like using um, little dots to embellish, not necessarily having to use a ton of glitter or, or whatnot to add a little more dimension and background to the card. So it, G82 for this. I'm gonna move on to the next, which was our medium shade excuse me, our dark shade of YG99. And again, this is the same marker that we use for the shadowing of our hollies, of our holly bush. And I'm gonna keep adding these little dots and don't be afraid to change the size of our dots. And then to add a little red, I'm gonna bring in some red Nouveau drops and I'm gonna try to be super careful to come in and do just little itty bitty dots to give it some of that red and it's gonna raise it. And again, super easy way to mass produce these cards. You get them all stamped, you get them all foiled, and then you get them all colored, and then it's ready to be set on a card base and mailed and super easy handmade cards, right? And guys, that does it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me on today's Color Combos with Crystal. We are doing it all Christmas long, right? Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to give the video a like, comment, share, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Have an amazing day.